The Electroscopes Kit allows students the opportunity to investigate electrostatics and how to produce a positive and negative charge on an electroscope. The kit includes two flask form electroscopes, two aluminum plates, a total of six foils, an acrylic rod in silk, a hard rubber rod in wool, an activity guide with over five different activities, and a metal pail to investigate the Faraday pail experiment. If I bring a negatively charged rod near the electroscope, it will chase away the electrons in the knob and push them down into the leaves. You see a little bit of motion in the leaves. If you were to charge up the rod and actually make contact, you're going to transfer the charge and the leaves will stay slightly repulsed until you ground it and the leaves will move back together. I charge this negatively, so now I'm chasing electrons away down to the leaves. Chasing electrons away down to the leaves. The electrons have nowhere to go, but if I were to touch this, bring a negative charge near, remove my hand and then remove the rod, ask the students what charge is now on those leaves. If I bring a negative rod near it and they get closer together, that means that this is overall positively charged. The reason for that is when I bring the negative charge near, I give the electrons a path to escape and I take those electrons away. When I remove the rod, now there's a deficiency of electrons leaving an overall positive charge. If you're looking for a way to charge up your kids in the classroom, the Electroscope Kit is a great hands-on way for kids to learn about charges, stack electricity, induction, and conduction. Now remember, the best time of year to do this is in the wintertime. In the summer, the humidity has a tendency to leak away charges because of the high moisture content in the air. So if you can, try to plan these activities during the dry, cold days of winter.